Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access the data and OBB folders in Android 14 without access to a computer and without root. For our first method of accessing data and OBB in Android 14 without root and computer, we will go to the Google Play Store and here you need to search for FV File Explorer. Once you search for FV File Explorer, this is the one which is going to show up FV File Manager by Folder V. And that is the one which we are going to install. Of course, I'm enrolled in the beta, so I am getting the beta version. If you're not enrolled in beta, you will get the stable version. Now, once the application has installed successfully, we can go and check what is the version which I got. So for me, the version is 1.11.20. Next up, we are going to open this application and it will ask you, do you want FV File Explorer to send you notifications? Again, that is a personal preference. I will say don't allow. So this is the page you will land upon. Let us go into storage and emulate it. And the first thing it will ask you is hey i want access to manage all the files so enable this toggle and then we can go back now once we do that we are on a page like this so you can see this is not my internal storage i have system system underscore ext and that is not what we want so we will go back on home and select the storage emulated zero one more time and this time around this is my internal storage how do i know that because i have my alarms i have android if i go into android i have the data so let us say we want to paste something inside the data folder of an application how do you do that so we are back to our internal storage let us go into the download folder and let's say i want to copy and paste this dynamic island apk so i'm going to press and hold on the apk or the file you get a menu on the top and this is the option to copy right on the left hand side of the scissors is the option to copy once i select that that has been copied now i can go back i will go into android i will go into data it is going to list all the applications which have a data folder so let us say i want to paste it in the camera folder so i will select camera then i will say use this folder and i will say allow then on the top right we have the menu and this is the option to paste so i'm going to say paste and bam here it is paste another important thing is on the bottom menu if you select i it will show you the path so you can see right now i am in the data but i am also inside the google camera folder similarly let us say you want to paste something in the obb so you'll do the same thing we can go back go back one more time and this again is our internal storage go back into download let us say i want to paste the same apk inside obb so press and hold select copy on the top go back go into android go into obb it is going to list all the applications which have obb folder i will select fv file explorer say use this folder say allow and then i can paste from the top right and say paste one more time and bam here it is if i now go back into the obb folder of fv file manager the dynamic island apk which i just pasted is still there so this is the first method of copying and pasting from data and obb on android 14 without having to root and without access to a computer now if the previous method of accessing data and obb in android 14 without root and without computer did not work for you then you can give the second method a try the only limitation here is it is going to cut and paste or it is going to actually move there is no copy and paste so we will go back to the google play store and here you need to search for files once you search for files a bunch of applications are going to show up the one which you are interested in is files by mark apps and software so this is the one which we're going to select and we're going to say install now once this has installed successfully if you open your application drawer you will have two files application this one on the left if i press and hold and i go into application info this is the one by google what you need to do next is disable this one and we're going to say disable this application once that is done if i go back into my application drawer i only have one files application so we're going to open this one this is the files by mark and this here is my google pixel 7 if i go into and 
Android and I go into data BAM here it is these are the different folders inside the data folder next tap on the three dot menu on the top right and say new window this is going to open another instance of files by mark and for simplicity purposes let us go into android and let us go into obb and now let us go to our home screen then we're going to open our recents and you will see you have two instances of files by mark one wherein we are in the obb folder and then we are also in the data folder select any of them press and hold and then say split screen so at this point the data one is on the top now it is asking us what is the next app so we're going to swipe and we're going to select the obb one so this here is my view right now on top i have android data on the bottom i have android obb let us go into this one the folder we file where i had pasted the dynamic island apk and if you select or press on this option on the top right it is going to change the view to list view just makes it easier then let us say i want to move this dynamic island apk to somewhere else let us say i want to move it to the chrome data so i go into chrome data folder and then i press and hold on the obb1 it is highlighted and selected and then if i press and hold one more time i can actually move this around so i'm dragging and dropping it from the bottom android obb to the top android data inside chrome and once i do that bam here it is moving one item and it was moved without any issues and now let us go ahead and kill both the instances of files by mark and then if i go back into files by mark go into android go into data go into the one for chrome bam here it is the dynamic island apk is present over here if i go into obb and the folder fv then the dynamic island apk is no longer present over here because we have moved it again the limitation being you can only move files now in case you ever want to enable your files by google application how do you do that well you need to go into settings once you are in the settings main page you will go into apps then say see all apps and then tap on the search on the top right right besides the three dot menu and here then you can search for files now once you search for files a bunch of applications are going to show up we are interested in the one which says files by google and of course on the bottom it says disabled select it we're going to say enable and now files by google is back in my application drawer and there it is peeps those are two ways of accessing the data and obb folders in android 14 without root and without having access to a computer